I-V-B-N, The Witch, Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great entertainment video blogs, plus other matches. The collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. RVBN. The only video blog on the internet matters. Time now is 8.10 in the evening, Berwick, Massachusetts. It's March 25th, 2017. About 39 degrees out. Mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Maybe some rain or snow showers, but no accumulation. There's a little bit of a unsettled week, but spring is here. It might take a little time to feel like spring in New England. Some news to report on the RVBN news. Why do, 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 do. The Philadelphia Phillies tied up the Boston Red Sox in a split, split squad game by a score of 3 to 2. And UMass Lowell River, River Hawk will be playing against Notre, Notre Dame in the Northeast. Finals of the NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Tournament in Manchester, New Hampshire t- tomorrow. And that's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my third and final video plug of the night, which will be about the MSG Health Show card for Madison Square Garden on August 22, 1987. Tomorrow on RVBN, only two video blogs for you because it's Sunday, and usually Sundays I do two video blogs. First video blog will be about the history of the Bill Masterson Award in the NHL, and the second and final video blog of the night will be about the MSG House Show card for WWE on September 21st, 1987. This week on the RVBN, Video blogs will be back to 2017 Major League Baseball Preview and Prediction Video Blog. And more great video blogs come. Personality Profiles return next Saturday. And the return of it's going to have Dr. Death Steve Williams, the late great professional wrestler. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about the MSG House Show card results from Madison Square Garden for the WWE on August 22nd, 1987 with the main event um, in a lumberjack match for the Intercontinental Championship, the Honky Tonk Man facing off against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat plus other exciting matches. Calling it on the MSG Network was Guerrero Monsoon, his lordship Alfred Hayes, and for some matches, um, the, the Duke of Dorchester, Pete Doherty. And here's what happened on the card. First match was Tama, representing the Islanders, facing off against Cowboy Scott Casey. And this was a highly competitive match. Scott Casey was used to wrestle for World Class Championship Wrestling, but he came to the WWE probably for more money. He was basically um, a TV jobber on the face side who gave competitive matches to the heels, almost winning, but in the end, he did the jobs on television. And Scott Casey had a decent match with Tama, but in the end, Tama pinned Scott Casey in about 11 and a quarter minutes with the splash off the second rope. Scott Casey did the J-O-B at the MSG. The next match was Tito Santana Ariba facing off against Outlaw Ron Bass. And this was an awesome match. Very competitive. It went to the full 20 minutes. Well, actually 15 seconds. Um, early, early, at a 1945 or 20 minute time limit draw. When they have 20 minute time limit draws, they exaggerate sometimes. Teal Santana hits Ron Bass with the flying form, um, or, or 
or the El Paso del Monte, what they call when he was El Matador, or the Flying Burrito, what Bobby the Plain Heenans would say. And the bell rang, the match ended in the draw. Tito wanted five more minutes with Outlaw Ron Bass, but he headed to the back. The next match was for the WWE Women's Championship. It was Sensational Sherry facing off against Velvet McIntyre. And this was a competitive match. Lasted close to 15 minutes. Sherry beats Velvet with a back suplex. Um, and the referee counted slowly. One, two, three. Sherry retains the Women's Championship. And Velvet McIntyre gets mad at the referee saying it was a slow count. The next match, it was Haku of the Islanders facing off against Rick Martel. And before the match, um, Martel brought Tio Santana and Haku brought Tama, but the referees, referee ordered both Santana and Tama to leave the ringside area because they're not licensed managers. And this was a decent match, but before the ref, you know, you know, takes a, you know, bump, um, a referee argues with Haku about something, and then Tama comes down and blasts, um, Martel with a chair, knocks Martel, Martel out, Haku pins Martel for the one, two, three, afterwards, Tito Santana comes back and clears the Islanders out of the ring. The next match was for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. And the main event, it was Ricky the Dragon Steamboat Challenger facing off against a Honky Tonk Man, the defending Intercontinental Champion, with the mouth of the shelf, Jimmy Hart, the referee in its under Lumberjack rules they had. Lumberjacks including Islanders, Tito Santana, George the Animal Steel, Junkyard Dog, Scott Casey, Lanny Poffo, Ron Bass, Jose Estrada, and a few others. And, and, like, this was a decent match. The ending had, like, referee try to get George the Animal still out of the ring. But, um, the Honky Tonk Man gets the me megaphone for Jimmy Hart, blast Ricky Steamboat in the back of the head with it, and it's easy pinning while the Honky Tonk Man pins the Steamboat one, two, three. Honky Tonk Man retains the Intercontinental Championship, and it's crazy there. The faces and the heels fight in the ring afterwards until they, until the baby faces clear the heels out of the ring, and then they have some referees come down, and the agents, the producers, the, uh, the stooges <laughs> break it, break it up. The next match was the natural butch weed with um, Slick in his co corner facing off against superstar Billy Graham. And this was a decent match considering Billy Graham had an artificial hip and was basically limited in the rain. And superstar Billy Graham has the bear hug on Reed, Butch Reed, but Slick comes in and hits Graham with his cane, causing the automatic disqualification. But um, Superstar pushes Slick down and he re reapplies the bear hug to Butch Reed. And they had several of the referees and a few officials like Pat Patterson and Arnold Scolin and Guerrero Matsu was actually came off up from the commentators booth and then um the slick got back um and and Monsoon elbowed him and then the referee had it to um, disqualified Graham as well. So it was a double disqualification because he refused to release the bear hug after the bell rang. Next match was Jose Estrada facing off against Leapin' Lanny Poffle 
who were substituting for Chavo Guerrero Jr., who signed with the WWE briefly, but he quit. Well, he probably didn't want to travel. Um, newer WWE fans no, knew Chavo Guerrero Jr. as Chavo Classic. And this match was about eight minutes or so. Lanny Poffel wins with a somersault splat off the top rope. Like I always say all the time, Poffel would always win big on matches at Madison Square Garden against jobbers with like doing high-flying moves. He should have gotten a decent push as like a mid card act where he could beat the lower level heels on television and give give the like the up like the top heels the run for their money on television but always lose and he was and he he was known he was known for writing poems and throwing the frisbees out. And then the de facto main event for this card was Demolition Axe and Smash facing off against the junk yard dog or the junk food dog as the editor of the Wrestling Observer, David Meltzer, would say about him, and George the Animal Steel. This was basically a comedy tag team match. Lasted about six and a, six minutes and ten seconds. The demolition was double teaming JYD, and George Steel had enough, and he brought a chair into the lane, and he smashed smack of demolition with the steel chair. He wanted to help out the junkyard dog, but he hit it, hit smash with the chair right in front of the referee. And if you hit some, some person with a chair in front of the referee, it's an automatic disqualification, unless if it's a no holds barred match or no disqualification match. And this Madison Square Garden house show card was like uh, a, a D, in my opinion. They didn't have the tip top stars like Macho Man or Hulk Hogan on here. It was, you know, the Lumberjack match was probably the best card. It saved, saved it from kind of a disaster. I'll be back tomorrow. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Have a good night. Keep calm, everybody. I'm Julie Bunn Guy. Molly Oseblood, WCCL, Oxnard, Nice Legs. Elizabeth Hatso, So Stunning, She's Bass, Amy Sweezy's Awesome, Awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX, Shanton Love, New York, Sasha Rocking, Cougars, We've Got the Best Luck in New York City, Bonner, Bobby Gibbs of Vicky Slum, and Have a Sweet Southern Accent, and Renclair, WHDH, Channel 7, Boston, Has Best Legs in Boston.